In this video, I'll show you how to make uh, edits to the pages, how to change the font, how to add a video. You already know how to add the image. So this will uh, help you with keeping it um, consistent and professional, as I've tried to do for each page. And I think this Victoria page is a good one to trial. I'll just bring up YouTube, because I've lost that temporarily. And... That's it, that's one we want. So I'll just have that up. Okay. Now, we'll go to edit page. And having the font set like this with font size, font family, heading one, it defaults to that standard, standard heading font that this theme comes with. So even though it looks different here, you'll see it different again through the browser. And I've made this uh, large. So we go to this icon here. And because we want to keep the heading as is, all we want to do is change the size. So we go here to value. So if I change it to 32, apply, you'll see that's already shrunk. So I'll update and I'll leave that as is. I'm going to remove the video for now. So I'll just delete this. And also for the text, to make it what it is, this is actually Helvetica 13. Again, we not, it's not so much here, but you go to here, Helvetica, it's got medium at the moment, but the value I want to put in is 13. Style normal, line normal, weight normal, variant normal. Apply, update. And we see that it's actually changed. I'll choose the rest of the text again. Go to that icon, value, I'll make it 13, again, normal, normal, everything's normal, apply, update, it's interesting, it's not changing, so I'll just move it back to here and there and try one more time, select it all, go back to this icon, Times. I'll make that 12, normal, it's all normal, apply. It's not quite changing for some reason. Arial, value, 13, apply, update. Maybe because this is set at 14, so I'll just go to font size. There we go, now that we've removed that and kept it standard, font size Helvetica paragraph it's actually gone to 13 point but it's also changed the heading so go to the heading and just make it font family font size and then update so if we go to the page which I like to go back to new to the side as is why how Victoria you'll see this is the standard font for this theme and the body copy is 13 point Helvetica you can make it larger but I recommend 12 or 13 that's a standard size so we want to make the heading larger and red so we'll go to edit page and select the heading and we'll go into that icon there we don't want to change any of the other settings only the size so we go to value and we make it 36 apply update ignore the way that it's broken 
and then what we want to do is select the heading, go to this icon here to change the color and the color is red. In your website I prefer red just to make the headings very punchy. And we'll go back, view it through the browser, Waiha, Victoria, and there you go, a nice strong red heading and the body copies Helvetica. Now what we want to do is add the YouTube video. So we go to YouTube, we scroll down, you go to share, embed. So we want to pick up the code to put into the WordPress site. I've been using them at um, 640, always click this button, enable privacy so people don't jump to other videos after watching this one. So we copy this code, we go back into the site and we go to text because we want to use the code. Now H1 is where the heading ed ends, Jeff Kennett, H1, you've got that space. Then in here is where I'll paste the YouTube code, return, so you can see it here. Go to visual and there you have it. Now I have used this centering feature even though it appears to be centering there. I'll update by saving the page and it still for whatever reason does not center it. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the browser to then get to the other page. So I'll get back to uh, Australian New South Wales because there's a video that is centered there. As you can see, I'll go to edit and then text and then here we have this code P style text align center. The iframe is where the YouTube code begins. It's that that I want so I'll copy that. Go back to the site through the browser. Why how? Victoria. You can see the video is not centered here. Edit page. And then here's the iframe YouTube code. So we click there and then paste. That way we're pasting the code that commands it to center. I can always separate this so you can see this is purely the YouTube video code and this is the code for centering the video on your site. Visual, we see that it is centered. Update to save the page. And we'll go back to the browser. Why how? Victoria. And there we have it. Your video is centered, you've got a nice bold heading, and the body copy is Helvetica. So that's how you change it to Helvetica, keep it consistent. That's what I'm working with through your site. I have yet to go through a few other pages. Uh, let's see if you've got anything in Tasmania. No, nothing yet in Tasmania. Nothing yet in Western Australia. Nothing yet there. And South Australia, you did clean up. Okay. Okay, there's a bit of a conflict happening here. Again, to clean up this page, go to Edit. We'll select this heading. We'll center it. We'll go to this icon and only change the size. Go to Value, Place in 36, Apply, Update. Great. And now we'll go to the body copy. So we'll select the body copy. Font size, font family, paragraph, just leave that as is. We'll go here to make it a little bit more exact. We'll choose Arial. Again, value, and I'll make it 13 point. Style normal. Line height normal. 
normal, normal, apply, update. And this copy is now Helvetica. Now we need to tidy this up. So this is a little bit all over the shop. So we'll just return that down, return it further, keep the pictures as they are there. And there you go, we've got the copy under the images. And what we'll do here again is go to this icon here, Arial, Size, Value, we'll make that 13, Style Normal, Normal, Weight Normal, Variant Normal, Apply, Update. Now. It hasn't really worked because it's, there's a conflict here. So we'll just put the font size as that. And we find now that this has become Helvetica once again. So update. Yeah, these fo looking at these photo photos is absolutely shocking. It's just an absolute tragedy to see the koalas, our beautiful national icon, being treated so badly and why I'm so passionate to make sure this site works well. So it's in South Australia that plant, an American company, Plantation 41, bought this um, plantation. It's full of blue eucalypts. That's the food tree of the koalas. And because every, a lot of everything else has been cleared around the country, around uh, South Australia for agriculture, which means it's just grass and no forests anymore, they're going into those plantations to feed. And what happens? They go in with their machinery and literally um, amputate the koalas. Some of them get beheaded. Some of them have their um, guts hanging out from being mashed into pulp from the machinery. Because as you know, the koalas cannot move quickly. And, and, you know, they're dying everywhere. No wonder we're losing our koalas in this country from sheer greed and sheer corruption. It's an it's utter national disgrace what's happening. But um, anyway, enough of my rants. We'll go back here. The body copy is not black, so we'll go there. And this is the icon that you go to here to change the color of the font. I'm making it black because I really want it to be clear and punchy. And then here as well, we'll just go to this icon and select that color there, which makes it black again. Update. And then we'll go back here. So everyone else is viewing this video that's uh, not part of Natives Rule. Again, this is the shocking truth of what's happening in our country, where the corporations are getting in. They're wiping out native forests, burning it. So any wildlife that's injured, it's being burnt alive. It's, it's absolutely shocking. And there's no control, nothing. It's insane what is actually happening in this country, in this day and age, when we are all educated and we know that we must protect our forests. So we'll go back to South Australia, view the page, and here we have it. The page is now consistent with the other pages. It's cleaned up and looking good. I'll have a quick look at this page. That's punchy, it's strong. The link is still broken there. The font is still not quite right. Again, we'll go into this page, edit page. Um, we'll leave the heading as is. And we'll choose this. We'll actually choose the copy. We'll remove the 14 here. Leave it font size. We'll go into here to control it and make it We'll make it 14 and everything else is normal. Apply so that way it's consistent. Again, we'll make this larger. That's all font size, font family, paragraphs, so there's no conflict. We'll go into Arial. The size we'll make um, 18 to make it strong. Normal, normal line height. Weight will make it bold. Oops, bold. Variant normal. Apply. 
update and then we'll scroll down a bit further and we'll copy uh, capture that via selection okay we know it's 18 points so we'll leave that and we'll go here to control it so we'll make that uh, 18 point and make it bold apply and update and I'll, I'll tell it size the last line for emphasis so we'll go back into here Arial size is 18 style will make it italic line height normal weight is bold and that's normal apply update and there you have it oops it's captured the last two that's okay you know what to do now to correct that and now that's done we'll update and save the page and with this here it was one of the logging images okay so current link we'll do link to image current link no okay what we'll do here is delete and then insert the image again so the image is we'll go to add media media library and I believe the image was possibly this one where the wood is stacked for burning into post it's quite large so this is where you reduce it you go to there we'll make it say 70 percent and centered and we'll make the title place the title in great update that's not a bad size we'll just make it a little bit smaller we'll make it 90 and again update there you go that's a lot more balanced it appears centered so what we'll do is uh, update again check it through the browser go to how to stop this okay that's the standard uh, heading for the theme right both of those pictures are not centering so again the way we get around this is we go to another page where it is centered so let's try Victoria there we are they're centered so we go to edit page and we go to text for the code and this is the image class so this is the command we want center we'll jump out of this page I've copied that code and we'll go back into how to stop this Uh, edit page and the code for the image is here we are caption ID attachment you can read it here image class WP image 1655 so we'll put the center here we'll scroll down further and here's the second image caption ID attachment uh, and that is rule how to stop this cut to bare earth yeah so we'll go center there as well and update we'll look at the visual we'll scroll down and we can see here that the images are updated and we'll view the page through the browser
how to stop this and there you go the images are centered the text is Helvetica and consistent and you know now how to enlarge the headings if you choose to perfect so what I'll do is probably correct that because I'm using an Apple Mac I'll go to but against the Liberal National Party candidate I'll click there and I'll do command return no. okay I've done something there that I that was not intentional so National Party candidate I'll click there and go command command shift command return no uh, that's not what I wanted to do the commands I do with my hands so I usually don't think about it so we click there and go shift return on an Apple Mac and what that does is it gives it a clean break vote for candidates who don't preference A shift return liberal or national party candidate which is good shift return to have a clean break there stop the internationally funded push to have shift return this is this way we're giving it a, a bit more balance and I'll update that and we'll go to new we'll go to how to stop this right everything's um, working a lot better but we want that point to be red as well so we'll go to that okay something very strange has happened here so what I'll do is I'll just select that make it red update and this theme is not very good that way it seems to do very strange things with the headings we'll take a look uh, and it's actually showing that it's not working properly so I will go back into that page and I think the best way to manage this is just go to that point delete candidate actually the better way to do it is just to re retype the heading but anyway you get the gist of what I'm doing here and that's how you pretty much make changes insert video insert images um, change the font so that's how this green theme works. Hope you found it useful and I'll be creating another video showing you how to upload images to the gallery. Thank you for watching and please visit our website at webdesigninsydney.com soon to be changed to website designinsydney.com Thank you.